Welcome to War India News R. 5G technology is projected to accelerate investments in private cellular networks. 5G is the fastest growing segment in the wireless network infrastructure market. Worldwide, 5G network infrastructure revenue is on pace to grow 39% to total $19.1 billion in 2021, up from $13.7 billion in 2020. Of the segments that comprise wireless infrastructure in this forecast, the only significant opportunity for investment growth is in 5G. Communication service providers, that is CSPs, in mature markets accelerated 5G development in 2020 and 2021 with 5G representing 39% of total wireless infrastructure revenue this year. The COVID-19 pandemic spiked demand for optimized and ultra-fast broadband connectivity to support work from home and bandwidth-hungry applications such as streaming video, online gaming and social media applications. Business and customer demand is an influencing factor in this growth. As consumers return to the office, they will continue to upgrade or switch to gigabit fiber to the home service as connectivity has become an essential remote work service. Whereas the users will also increasingly scrutinize CSPs for both office and remote work needs. The annual spent on network and hardware services will reach $12 billion globally by 2023, rising 116% from the $5.5 billion expected for 2021, according to Juniper Research. 5G deployments will play a key role here. More than 60% of base stations in deployments in 2023 will be 5G, it said. Telecom equipment vendors such as Ericsson and Nokia are best placed to capitalize on private networks through their hardware and value-added services that they can offer directly to private enterprises. Telecom operators that are dominant in the public cellular market, however, may lose out on opportunities in private networks space. With this, the hardware providers and systems integrators will play more dominant roles given the right regulatory framework. Germany and the United States will account for 30% of global private network spent in 2023, although this will decline as other countries release spectrum for private network usage, the survey reveals. Let's look into today's headlines in Varintia. Microsoft's new initiative to empower AI startups in India. Microsoft announced the launch of Microsoft AI Innovate, a 10-week initiative that will support startups in India leveraging artificial intelligence technologies, helping them scale operations, drive innovation and build industry expertise. Both B2B and B2C startups from diverse industries including financial services, healthcare, education, agriculture, space, manufacturing and logistics, retail and e-commerce are invited to participate in the quarterly cohort of this immersive program. Supported by TIE Mumbai, the launch cohort will kickstart in November 2021. Facebook is planning for a makeover on its name. Facebook is planning to rebrand the company with a new name next week and the company is planning to change its name to reflect its focus on building the metaverse, according to a source with the direct knowledge of the matter. CEO Mark Zuckerberg plans to talk about it at the company's annual Connect conference on October 28th. The rebrand could likely position the Blueface app as one of many products under a parent company overseeing groups like Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus and more. Vodafone Idea accepts the four-year Spectrum Payment Moratorium Package. VI's decision comes on the back of a relief package announced by the government in the middle of September. It included a four-year moratorium on adjusted gross revenue and Spectrum payments reduced BGs and the option to convert statutory dues to government equity. VI becoming the first telco to accept the deferred payment option provided under the Telecom Relief Package. Bitcoin jumped to a record high and has touched $66,084. Crypto Exchange Dubai organized successfully for investors and crypto industry leaders to network and explore more business opportunities in the crypto space where there were over 8,000 delegates attending the hybrid event with more than 80 crypto industry speakers. 
as a testimony, Bitcoin has hit a new all-time high of more than $66,000. Experts say crypto is the inevitable future of money and there is clearly going to be advantages for those investors who have exposure early on in the same way as those who invested in the major internet, online and tech successes back in the day such as Amazon, Google and Apple have secured enormous returns. Stripe sets to acquire Indian fintech firm Reco. US fintech major Stripe is set to acquire Reco, a payments reconciliation company based out of India. The acquisition of Reco is likely to beef up Stripe's strong presence even after four years of setting up operations in the country. The company will automate Reco's payments. Reconciliation is potentially an attempt to offer services beyond its main payments business. However, it did not disclose the financial details. Post-acquisition, Reco's team will join Stripe's remote engineering hub, helping to build and scale Stripe's products globally and existing Reco users would be able to use the company's products directly. RBI finds Rs 1 crore on Paytm Payment Bank the Reserve Bank of India has imposed a penalty of Rs 1 crore on Paytm Payments Bank Limited for violating provisions of Payment and Settlement Systems Act 2007 and submitted information that did not reflect the factual position. It is an offence under Section 26.2 of the Payments and Settlement Act. After reviewing the written responses and oral submissions made during the personal hearing, the RBI determined that the mentioned charge was substantiated and warranted the imposition of a monetary penalty, RBI said in its statement. That's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.